When we left off, we had just finished our second Hawaii to Washington sail, completing three long ocean passages in the last several months. Over the past six months, we've spent more than half our time at sea on long passages, sailing Veruna all the way back from Costa Rica, and moving Makara out of Hawaii to finally have both boats in the same location back on the US mainland. Now that we have finished the long crossings relocating the boats, a new chapter is beginning and we have a lot of work ahead of us. Today it kind of officially begins. We're now here in a marina as of yesterday, both boats next to each other. We completed step one, get Varuna and Makara together, finally. They finally last. got to meet. And they're literally side by side. Now, refit time starts. We are in Tacoma, Washington, and we have finally accomplished Maybe goal number one of this last few crazy months of sailing around. We have the two boats together, literally side by side. Our initial and probably biggest goal to start with was to get both these boats in the same location and that's what meant sailing all those thousands of miles. Uh, a lot of great fun that we had and we got to put the boats through a lot of their paces. After all these months sailing back and forth getting the boats together, our plan moving forward is we are going to move aboard Makara make her our full-time boat, refit her, and put Veruna up for sale. What that means is, is we do have a lot of work to do here on Makara. Not stuff that necessarily has to be done, but a lot of stuff that we want to do while we're here in the Seattle area with a lot of marine supplies, a lot of family support, everything that we need to try and get this boat in real ship shop, the ship shop? So now we can get this ship shape with the help of family, friends, and all the marine stores and everything that, that's, that's in this area. It makes things super simple, right? We have access to a car so we can run errands quickly if needed. We have family that's good with woodworking. A lot of benefits to being here. So to sum up today, we've started removing things off of both of the boats. We have to clean Varuna up and get it ready for sale. So we now also know what we need to do on Makara which is the boat that we're about to begin a large refit on. And today, that starts with us getting some new sails for Makara. As you probably know, the sails were very old on Makara. If you remember from our crossing, we had two sail, well, three sails tear actually, so she is definitely in need of new sails. They're very old sails, lots of UV damage, and very stretched out. Today we're going to do sail measurements all on our own. It's really easy. We have the measurements that we need to take and we know how to take them. We are going to be working and partnering with Precision Sails. They are based out of Victoria, BC, not too far from here. Um, but we're actually going to do all of the measurements ourselves, send it to them, have a little conference with them to talk about the sail design and then get our sails made. That's the ferry. So these forms, one is for our main sail, one is for our head sail. We're gonna sit down and take these measurements now. It is super simple. It's a matter of attaching a tape measure to your halyard and then hauling it up the top of the mast. What else do we need? We're gonna also take some measurements of our boom and then some other little measurements along the way as well. Probably a set of calipers. Yeah. That makes things a little bit easier so we can measure the track. Measure the track. We're also, because we have Hank on sails, we're gonna measure our force stay diameter. The great thing about precision sales is that you can do everything online and over the phone and working with them remotely. You don't need to have a sail maker come out and take all your measurements for you. Gone are those old days. One of the things I love about that is we are big proponents of knowing your own boat. As much as you've got professional riggers and sail makers out there, there is things you can learn and do some of this stuff on your own and doing it yourself something as simple as measurements so you know what your boat is capable of and what the measurements are because this is more than just about sales you need these numbers for a lot of different things 
All right, enough of that. We're gonna get to it right now and we're gonna use a phone. We're gonna take a picture of the measurements as we do it. It's just a great reference point when we come back to writing the numbers in here. And it's also a great thing to send off to the uh, sail makers and precision sales. This is our main halyard right here. We've used a carabiner to attach the tape measure. You can also tape it on, but basically we want to get the same height as the shackle will be at that goes through the head of the sail. We're going to hoist this up and take the measurement from this shackle, what would be the head of the sail, to this pin, which goes through the tack of the sail. Looks like 52 feet and a half inch. Next up is to measure our maximum foot length. That's going to be from the back face of the mast all the way out here to what we have as an outhaul car. So it's going to be to the pin here on the outhaul car or shackle, whatever your method is there of attaching the clue. Next measurement I'm going to do is from the aft side of the mast to the reef hook where the temporary tack would attach. The tape measure attached to the head sail halyard now. We're gonna hoist that up to a full head sail hoist and measure the distance down to the side deck just forward of the mast. Okay, it's at the top. Since we have hang on sails, we have an eye down here on the deck and we have a few different pennants that we use for different sails. So I'm gonna take a few different measurements based on those pennants. Another measurement for our head sail is the base of the fore triangle area. So we're gonna measure from the forward part of the mast all the way up to the fore stay. If you have a Genoa truck like we do, we're also going to take a measurement to the very aft position of that Genoa truck car. A couple of our last measurements that we needed to do was from the waterline here up to the base of the chain plates here or the shrouds on the deck. And then we also did the same up there on the bow uh, from the base of the waterline up to where the force day intersects with the deck. Well, we're all done. We're gonna take a lot of the photos that we took now to remind us of our measurements. We're gonna transpose those here onto the paperwork and submit that back into Precision Sales. We're gonna have a chat with them about it when they're ready and get something designed here. We're really excited about this. The guys are great to work with and it's really nice to know that there's real people on the other end and some real hard working guys and girls that keep that company rolling. So now the only thing left to do is to crack open a cold one. What kind of an esky is that? Foiled again. We're out here at Hillary's parents' home and we're gonna take a few measurements of our old sails. As a bit of a guide for precision sails, we're gonna give them measurements of our existing sails. However, we do know that the existing sails were not custom designed for the boat. And that's just gonna be simply measuring tip to tip to tip on each one. reasons why we need new sails. A big tear in our main here. This is right above the first reef point at the partial batten 
and this is a sign that your sails are old. They rip really easily. We were trying to get a nice flat sail pulling on the outhaul when we were reefing and it just totally pulled apart. So that is what an old sail does. So these right here are battens and a batten is some sort of stiffening material that's inserted into the fabric of the sail. On this sail, on Makara, we had partial battens, which means they come from the leech of the sail in a little ways. On Varuna, we have full battens, which mean they go across the full width of the sail. And what these battens do is they help you get a better sail shape, and they also help protect the sail a bit. With our mainsail measurements complete, we now repeated the same process with our headsail. After stretching the sail out completely flat, we began measuring, using a screwdriver to anchor the tape measure, and then measuring tip to tip to get our luff, leech, and foot measurements. Even though it was not required to go up the mast for our sail measurements, since we are starting lots of projects on Makara, we took this opportunity to go up and check everything out, since we had lots of projects that we are starting to put into action. But that's our next adventure. Thanks so much for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe! Until next time! Shape, ship, ship, shape, ship, shape, ship, ship. To get this ship, ship, ship shape, ship. So we've got everything we need to get the ship, ship shape. The ship in shape. The ship in shape. So we've got everything we need to get everything. Uh, we've got everything. Uh,